Shalom. 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 Uh, first and foremost, we'd like to give our praises and our glory to Yahweh, Hashem 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 Yahweh, Right, like coming to do another video through the spirit and Bobby and Bashem and Shai will be edified towards you for the leg. I know this um, video basically touching on um, a video that we watch with Pastor Gino Jennings and uh, um, um, a Muslim called um, Brother Rusif or Rushad. Rashid. Rashid. That's a good one. Alright, now they was basically debating on a um, basically Bible, Paul, right, the Old Testament, but beating Paul. All right, and really and truly, now first of all, the scriptures itself, right, ain't for Muslims, it ain't for Christians, right? These things are, are religions that was made up by, by men, right? But not by the spirit and of Yahweh Hashem or Shai, right? And these sects, they have no understanding of Yahweh Hashem or Shai, right? If somebody could get first Corinthians, you know, um, chapter 14, 32, 33, right? Um, Malachi 3, 6. And I hold Isaiah 8 and 20. So if you just go through because guess what? Mosai, he won't change. If he says something today, alright, that is what we understand. Scripture say um basically I think if the law is immutable, right? Even um they quoted the Muslim quoted um the scripture until um heaven and it may pass away. What the fight? Can't but know what in one job, one title we ain't going and pass from by the law. Right, so no way the law say it will take pig, um, swine's flesh, pork, pig, or rats, or this kind of thing. They say that we can be cockroaches and all these abominable meat. All right, and that's where you know saying Gino Jennings, and that hey, that that is Muslim guy. He will understand that more Paul's teaching either. All right, go ahead. First Corinthians chapter um, fourteen, verse ah. thirty-two, and the spirit of the prophet are subject. To the prophets. Right, the spirits and the prophets are subject to the prophets. Right, no, first of all, we through the spirit and power of the and Shai believe in reincarnation in the scriptures, and we believe through the spirit and power of the and Shai that we are the prophets coming back to teach the, the law of the law, right, the ways of the Abba and Shai. Just in the past, every time that you know he have a contribution with his people, he always rise up the prophets to warn these people and to teach them and get them back to what to the law. And right. to submit yourself to Yahweh Hashem El Shai. Okay, so you will be them prophet after it, um, pastors after his own heart. Come, alright? Go ahead. It says, verse 32, verse 33, For God is not an author of confusion, but of peace in all churches of the saints. Right, so the Lord is not the author of confusion. So that the Lord even and tell us something here yesterday and then change his mind about it tomorrow. Right, he's saying hey, he's not in utter confusion but of peace. When they are that peace, that sound doctrine, what your body will be mellow, right? You'll be, you'll be more healthy rather than in a confused state of mind. But he says, Well, it's true from the beginning, from the beginning okay. right? And scripture also said, that Double minded man is unstable in all his ways. Most I don't have double minded man whatsoever. I see that that's really praise needs to go, okay. right? Right, and roughly paraphrasing. In the apocrypha say basically to stay where a man that is given to change. You understand? So the Lord not going to change his word. It's the same today, yesterday, and forevermore. Right? And we could get the uh, Malachi 3, 6. This is the book of Malachi, chapter 3 and verse 6. So it says, Malachi chapter 3 and verse 6 it says um, for I am Yahweh, I change not therefore ye sons of Jacob are not consumed right I am Yahweh, I change not therefore ye sons of Jacob are not consumed yeah I'm facing to 4 verse 1 to 5 for me right the Lord don't change he's not given to change right therefore ye sons of Jacob not consumed each other Israel and where is one of the ways that they will be consumed the Lord not going to change your dietary law, all right? Because when you when you actually do some research, the the um the flesh of the swine is very dangerous to the human body. It have certain um worms, 
and bacterium and, and viruses that it will carry. For instance, like the, um, the guy you send him, who did the chance, he had, I think he had a chance span from the pig, um, and it was successful, but a couple of months after, like a month after he ended up dying, um, there is a shade that the, the organs of a pig, they, you know, it, it, it's not good. This is um, Isaiah 8 and 20, right? It says to the law and to the testimony, if they speak not according to this will, it is because there is no light in them, right? So, we're considering Pastor Gino Genesis, he was going off, right? Because what well, he, he has no light in him. Because what he is not speaking according to the law of the Abba Shemesha. He don't understand the mind of the Abba Shemesha. Um, this is Jeremiah 5 and verse 5. Right? It says, I will get me unto the great men. Right? And those great men start with the apostles of Great Millstone, the Hebrews, right? Right? And will speak unto them, for they have known the way of Yahweh and the judgment. So everything based on, on judgment of the most high. Right? It have judgment for everything that you do. Right? You not say because what they know, they know the way of the Lord. Right? But you, you don't know the way of the Lord because then you wouldn't say, first of all, that you know the Lord um will say basically to eat poor. Neither neither does he um <laughs> right and just a little person giving us um, a little trouble here, Salak, yeah. Alright. And even the, the Muslim, the, these people they don't know where your Bashan or Shai because they don't really seek him in sincerity and in truth, right? Yeah, that piece of yeah. Yeah. This is Ezekiel chapter 22 and verse 20, start on verse 26. Uh, okay. I'll start with verse 25. Mm -hmm. It says, There is a conspiracy of her prophets in the midst thereof, like a rain lion raving the prey. They have devoured souls. They have taken the treasure and precious things. They have made her many widows in the midst thereof. The priests have violated my law and have profaned my holy things. They have put no difference between holy and profane. Neither have they shown difference between the unclean and the clean. And I've hid their eyes from the Sabbath, and I am profane among them. Basically, they cast out the Lord as an unclean thing. But you, you people, you're putting up yourself there as a man of God, right? And not putting the difference between clean and unclean. Because why? Finty Lucas sick, you're trying to get that, that doctrine to get everybody in. Right? So like, yeah. Because, wait, 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 um, well, what's my chat, mm -hmm. Which scripture was just saying is that um the man was much right here. Okay, but bring a quick piece of there. Yeah, yeah come let me take us um ten ten, right? I will start at verse nine. It says, Do not drink wine, nor strong drink. Thou nor thy sons with thee when you go into the tabernacle of the congregation, lest he die, right? So the reason why I bring on this point first is because you're not going to allow any of your ministers who serve with you on the altar, Gino Jennings, all right, or anybody to come in church basically stone drunk and to say they're up there serving before the Lord. That'd be an unclean thing. The, what the scriptures say basically, um, wine is a mocker and strong drink is raging, especially when you go back to the customs. If a king went and judge whatever the case is, he ain't going and drink before he go and, and he will pervert judgment. Yeah. Right, so you ain't that's an unclean thing to have somebody that is stone junk up there on the pulpit. Yeah. You'll tell them, hey, basically, sit down or, or go a hey, matter of fact, or but say they come to the congregation today. So, we're going to say this, this is, is a, this okay because this is the law, and the law never said to change this. All right, it says, um, no, like sons with the when you go into the tabernacle of the congregation, let's die, it shall be a statute forever throughout your generations, and that he may put difference between holy and unholy and between unclean and clean right so that is that is what you're supposed to do when you're there in the congregation of the people that is your job gino Jennings. but you're not doing that you're not doing a right job right and, and you is the scripture say the leaders of these people of course, the earth. 
Kısa şu orijinal işe. Sen dairesi şey iş kapı çabuk mu oldu? Lord Ochi. Um, this is um, the book of First Timothy chapter 4 and 1. Yeah. It says, Now the Spirit speaketh expressly that in latter times some shall depart from the faith, giving heed to seducing spirits and doctrines of devil. Right, so this is a, a precept that he would have brought out in a, in a, in a video, the same video, but in the other clip that we saw on TikTok. Alright? So you could just remove that and do something. Okay. It says now the spirit uh first Timothy four and one. Now the spirit speaking speak it expressly expressly that in latter times some shall depart from the faith, giving heed to seducing spirit and doctrine of men. And uh -huh. when you look up the word seducing it, it means to be an imposter, right? Uh -huh. Corrupter, deceiver. Right? And that basically what Geo Jennings you Actually know doing. we doing is you're deceiving the people. God. You know, because Eating pork is is is, is unhealthy, you know, is an an unhealthy something, right? And healthy meat, right? right? And the, the, the Lord clearly gave laws um, against it, and against any other um, unclean food, right. to be um, precise. And that is why people say the Bible contradicts in itself, yeah. because they have no understanding of what it is actually being said. Right. Even Peter said Paul was hard to be understood. That, that is why they say also I mean, the, the, the Lord from the Old Testament, the Father the Lord from the New Testament because they don't understand, right? Once you understand the Heavenly Father and the Son, Yahweh Shai said in the book of Hebrews, um, um, Yahweh Shai, um, um, the same yesterday today and forevermore, right? So the Lord, the Lord and the Son would not change nothing, right? He would, he would, he put this word above his name. That's right. right, right, and it's the name you're going to get saved by, but you put the word above that, so this is the word will understand, especially then. The thing about it, too, if they understood in the time of Maccabees, we went on when Antiochus Epiphanes, right, the, the Greek, when he came up against Jerusalem, he was forcing them to go, right, and a lot of Israelites stood firm. For, for the, the for the laws and they did eat pork and they put many of them to death, especially second Maccabees um seven. And we know this this way back to this history because it's spoke about Alexander the Great. Some people like to say it's fairy tale. Mm -hmm. But they go say Alexander the Great is a fairy tale, right? Because he's the first great either my conqueror that actually conquered the earth. That is when um the Caucasian race started to rule. Right? So those those going back to white supremacy, they go and look to eradicate um Alexander the Great out of history. But they will tell you the healthy generals and his successors that actually um, got up with um, Judas Maccabees. Alright? But especially with the woman in 2 Maccabees 7, how firm she stood. The scripture says she good in her loins like mm -hmm. a man and mm -hmm. his seven sons. And they, they died because they was offering them to eat pork. So how fair it would be that what the Lord let, let them stand firm for not eating pork back in them days. And now today he'll come and tell you, ah, well, let go by them pork. Hey, they used to mash up with tea, lick up with, with, with front tea, and put a funnel in mouth of the pour that pork down the throat. Because he wasn't eating it willfully. And, and not because he was Muslim, but because we had the knowledge of who we were back then before we came into slavery. That's right. right? The priests also in Maccabees, who they wanted to eat lamb, he would actually eat lamb. But the congregation would have thought that he eaten pork. And. And he go, he go against that, but he said, nah, he want the congregation to feel all his lamb eaten. Yeah, placebo, yes, yeah. Yeah, understand? I have a precept here. Okay. Well, this is, this is Malachi chapter 2, and starting at verse 8, starting verse 7, sorry. It says, for the priest's lips should keep knowledge, and they should... Stop on the side. Come. Malachi chapter... 2 and verse 5, so verse 5. Oh. It says, My covenant was with him. My covenant was with him of life and peace. I speak in body level because precept, which now it is basically given to the, the, the tribes. Because henceforth, Gino Jennings, why else you'll be up there on, on top of our altar? Go ahead. And I and I gave them to him for the fear wherewith. He feared me mm -hmm. and was afraid before my name. The law of truth was in his mouth. The law of truth was in his mouth. 
right? I want to read Psalms 119 verse 142. I'll get that real quick, right? So just um just to back with one time and we'll continue reading the Psalms 119. Right, because a lot of people don't know what is the truth. Psalms 119 and verse 142. It says, Thy righteousness is an everlasting righteousness, and thy law is the truth. Right? Well. Right, it says, He walked with me in peace and equity, and did turn many from their in from iniquity. Why? Because he has put in a difference between the clean and the unclean, the holy and the, holy and the profane. profane. Mm -hmm. Say, okay, what? This is clean water. You see there, thy dirty water. Stay away from the dirty water. You understand? This is a poisonous fruit. This is a, a clean fruit. Eat the clean fruit, stay away from the poisonous fruit. Because if, if, if Gino Jennings saying you can eat pork, that means you can eat shrimp, you right. can eat crab, you can eat shark, you can eat lobster, you right. can eat squid. Right. You can eat kobo. I'm going to eat no difference between the clean and the unclean. Can. And the video that you watch, just to, 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 to say 15% of the people who eat this will die. Can. Dangerous foods. Food where you can. Tell us this. Full of toxins, aren't they? Like um, I research it and fit most but people who have knowledge of it, why you eat fish with fins and scales because the scales act like a, a barricade from certain chemicals actually going into the fish itself. Like mercury and all these different mm -hmm. kind of harmful things that will actually be there in the sea. Can well it says for the priest's lips should keep knowledge, mm -hmm. and they should seek the law at his mouth. Seek the law at his mouth. Yeah. For he is the messenger of the hour, Bashemi or Shai of hosts. Right, so Gino Jennings, he acting as a messenger of Yah Bashemi or Shai. Well, he acting as a messenger for the Bible. Mm -hmm. Well, you know the Bible is word of God, but the Lord says some people run with the word and he never send them. Can. All right, in Jeremiah 23. Right. You're dressed like a sheep, but that quack, but like he's <laughs> a swine. Come, absolutely. <laughs> right? And hey, basically, we just show you people the difference. Not everybody who says there's a man of God is a man of God. They don't understand the Bible. Though he can retain precepts. You can see he can retain mm -hmm. precepts. Mm -hmm. And as brother say, he's really quick on the job for, for precepts. And that's not very good. That is very good. well. But then he's a deceiver. Yeah. <laughs> Well, that that will actually captivate the audience of the people when you mm -hmm. can um, actually grasp uh, to, to, to the scriptures and go into the, to the Bible because it's, it's the understanding of the word. Fine. You know what I mean? And, and that is exactly what they do have. And then you prove, you prove, you prove that you do have the understanding. Fine. Right? Verse 8, it says, But ye are, ye are departed out of the way. Mm -hmm. Ye have caused many to stumble at the law. Cause many to stumble at the law. Because you don't understand what you're saying. Right? And that is why right now we need 1 Timothy 4. We read it on down to verse 5. We'll show you what the Apostle Paul meant. You understand? You're causing people to stumble at the law. So a lot of people now they'll say, boy, I can eat pig. But most of the people in your condition go and catch rats in your house. Right? And rabbits. And ducks and all these kind of abominations. You snatch it, alligator tail yeah. and all them kind of thing. And, and make a big broth. <laughs> hey, Isaiah, as um, a matter of fact, as we did, because the scripture, the scripture talk about that big broth. Um, Isaiah 60, 65 or 66, it's in the water. Um, the eat um, swine. So, so then, why it is. <laughs> read, right? Let the scripture come out. Come. Um, I think this is, this is, this is 66 um, right. It says Isaiah 66 and um, verse 3. I'll read the both accounts. I'll read um, 3 first. He that killed an ox is as if he slew a man. So you're going to eat men do. It says he that sacrifices a lamb as if he cut off a dog's neck. He that offered an oblation as if he offered swine's blood. He that burned an incense as if he blessed an idol. Mm -hmm. You're going to serve an idol, I'm um, Gino Genesis. Right? It says, yeah, they have chosen their own ways and their soul delighted in their abominations. <laughs> it's showing you that what? Science flesh is abominations, right? So I believe it's in verse 5 and it talks about... see what he's doing. Can. He said he don't, he don't eat his swine flesh. He don't even eat beef. Can. But yeah, 
it's okay for the congregation to eat it. Can. He's doing the opposite to what the priests in the, in the book of Maccabees do. Can. Because he caused men, the scripture says, some boy caused men yeah, to go down into the grave. And oh, Yahushai, who the holy man, he called Jesus also, um, he said, um, they do not enter into heaven and neither suffer they also them to um, the congregation basically to enter into the heavens. That's why I have to be careful with religion and Christianity um, and even um, Islam. Scripture as they try these spirits. Um, I will start at verse 1. Isaiah 65 and verse 1. I am sought of them that ask not for me. I am fond of them that sought me not. I said, Behold me, behold me unto a nation that was not called by my name. And as the Hebrew Israelites in captivity, because they won't call by their name in captivity. I spread on my hands all the day unto rebellious people which walk it in a way that was not good after their own thoughts. And as you people down to this very day, right? A people that provoke me to anger continually to my face that sacrifice it in gardens and burn it incense upon altars of bread, which remain among the graves and lodge in the monuments, which, which eat swine's flesh. Mm. Which eat swine's flesh. I'm feeling okay to do it. Can. And brought up abominable things is in their vessels. Mm. So that whole, that whole, as we are saying, eat. Get alligator, get rat, get put two cockroach inside it. Them acting like them witch and them yeah. who it, um, rat tail and, and frog foot. <laughs> it's that's so what's going on. It's so like we go high congregation, and like that pot will be congregation. Yeah. Can bubbling up. Can um, yeah, be, um, these people be the um, this city be the culture and the people be the meat. Yeah, he he tell it up what that that um feel good doctrine also. To what make everybody feel accept to come as you are. Can and that is a good reason why people supposed to stay away from Christianity and stay away from these religions. That's right. These religions crying you don't tap. You know? um, because they're two jigs, two jigs from the from the house of Israel, standing up and convert in two different de denominations, right? Islam and Christianity. Islam and Christianity, which is none of them is for us. That's right. The the Seventh day Adventists, they the, 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 the founder is who? Um, this is LNG White? I think so. Odi, 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 I think I'm a man, I forget his name. LNG White, so Yeah. yeah. Hmm. In Islam, hey, the, the, the star is Islam. No, William Miller. William Miller, William Miller, Miller. Miller who's a man. So, uh, hey, get, get, get the foundations of where these religions and things come out. Go, go, dig deep. But let this that we have that we have spoken be for warning unto us and now will we come to the, de the to the declaring of the matter in few words. Eliezer, one of the principles <laughs> I can't love him, but it says um, one of the principal scribes and an aged man and of the well favored countenance was constrained to open his mouth to eat his so in his flesh. Mm -hmm. But he caused but he chose him rather to die graciously mm -hmm. than to live stained with such an abomination. Hmm. Spit it forth and came of his own accord integrity to ah, the was on the more can, to the torment as as it behold them to come that are resolved to stand out against such things as are as are not lawful right as are not lawful so eating swine isn't lawful. Right, and he preached everyone when I read it there in the book of Luke, I think it's eight. When um when he when the um scribe with the Pharisee, one of them, asked the Yahweh Shai was playing with Yahweh Shai, and he said, um, we could do ten ten to the king, then my Yahweh Shai tell him, hey. Luke ten? Luke ten? Right, yeah. You know, I I basically tell him, um, 
Mm. One is only like so thing on the low. Yeah, bring it for me. Um, in Luke chapter 10 and verse, I think it's uh, verse 25, right? It says, And behold, a certain lawyer stood up and te te tempted him, saying, Master, what shall I do to inherit eternal life? He said unto him, What is written in the law? How read this thou? Right. What written in the law? How read this thou? Right. Whatever written in the law, that, that, that is where it is. You understand it? So it, it, it wasn't lawful, as the scripture says here. Um, but he chose his brother, um, wait, it says there, verse 20, it says, as it, be, as it beloved them to come, that are resorted to stand out against such things as, as are not lawful. Right? That is not lawful. For the love of his life to be tasted. You understand? So, so he's eating on his, why, why he's spitting on? Why he's spitting on his wine then? Right? If it was something good for him to eat, the swine, the swine flesh, all that was written in, in, um, in, in Levitical law oh. that we shouldn't eat. Okay. He will cause men to die. Why the law will cause men to die for that and then now say, alright, well, okay. You understand? Why, why, why he will let people keep the law and punish them now and then now bring them back, send the law to die for them? You understand? And then the Gentiles who were the enemies could come in to the fold now and receive the promise of the kingdom without keeping the law. That ain't just. That, that is not just. Hey, All right? um, I will bring to the um, Timothy, but yeah. the, 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 is a, um, Acts 10? I think it's Acts 10 when you talked about, um, this can't stop, aren't they? Um, when you see the before? Yeah, he's all creatures, um, Going to all creatures, he was speaking about um, dog, cat, um, dog and cat and, 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 and all these things. Mark, I think it's 14, 15, or 16. Um, the last 15, 15, 14. Right, um, something. Yeah, come. We get the cat, right? Well, this is um, this is first Samuel's. Chapter 2, 16, 15. Let me just bring this real quick. Right. Luke, um, Mark, Salakia, 16, 15. And he said unto them, Go into all the world and preach the gospel to every creature. Right, every creature. And I was speaking about man. Right, because in, in the book of um, Genesis 1 and 20, it's 1 and 20, and about, um, 2 and 20, 1 and 32, it speaks about. Um, Hmm? It's, it spoke about all creatures coming out of the water, okay. even in the, in, in the Apocrypha, in the water. So it's speaking about animals. Yeah. It's, it's, that was, it's um, 1 Samuel chapter 2, starting at verse, at verse 25. It says, if one man sin against another, the judge shall judge him. But if a man sin against Yahweh Shem or Shai, who shall entreat for him? Notwithstanding, they hearken not. Withstand, not sorry, notwithstanding, they hearken not unto the voice of their father, because Yahweh had slain them. And this was to actually talk about Samuel's sons, right? But are applying it to this. It says, I'll jump into um, verse 28, it says, Right. It says, And did I choose him out of all the tribes of Israel to be a priest, to offer unto the altar, to burn incense, to wear the ephah before me? And did I give unto the house of thy father all the offerings made by the fire of the children of Israel? Wherefore, kick ye at my sacrifices and at my offering, which I have commanded in my habitation, and honorous thy sons above me to make yourselves fat with the chief of all the offerings of the children of Israel. And that actually we it come like what Gino Jennings doing in this time, you know. 
right? Because he, you know, he no longer actually keep doing it we we supposed to do for the Mosa Yaba Shemya or Shall we do it now is getting the let 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 let, let only do what I want. Okay. Yeah, do what I want. The sons I did only do yeah cut if you can eat pork in church you can collect you can the whole them going on. See them them is them is the peace on the fan side. You know the the Lord has his men. And we're saying yeah they, as long as you call in on, on Jesus you don't know you will. You, you, you can be you can be preaching for over thirty something years and still calling on that name and Christ and all this thing now. Scripture says you will get sick. Right? In the book of First Timothy four and verse two. It says, speak, speaking lies in hypocrisy, having their conscience snared with a hot iron, forbidding to marry and commanding to abstain from meat. Right, so they, they will use this to say, um, people say to abstain from meat, but not knowing basically it has, just like today, it will have vegans or vegetarians well basically because them don't eat meat they try to get everybody to follow after their philosophy all right so basically um that is what it's saying there right continue reading that right just like how long ago you could have certain people like the Epicureans and the Stoics or, or you know the Sadducees they want mm -hmm. people so long because I doing this and you know I you know I want you to do it too. People should eat fish. It seems it seem to be good for me. Okay. So you should do it. Yeah. Fish are friends, not food. And what kind of thing? Well guess what? Um vegetables are living things also. Mm -hmm. Just they might not have a, a, a central um neurological system. Understand? Go ahead. And it says um forbidding to marry Right? And commanding to abstain from meat which God had created to receive with which, thanksgiving. Which God have created to receive with thanksgiving. That's an important point there. Which God have created to receive. Right? Now um get this real quick Genesis um seven and shortly they actually did bring this out in the video too. And we bring it out here, Genesis seven and verse one. Wow. And Yahweh said unto Noah, Come thou and all thy house into the ark, for thee, for thee have I seen righteous before me in this generation. Of every clean beast thou shalt take to thee by sevens the male and his female, and of the beasts that are not clean by two the male and his female. Right? So from the beginning the Lord had clean beasts and unclean beasts. But long ago, before the flood, basically when I read Genesis 9, that is when um, the Lord sanctioned the eating of meat, right? This is um, Genesis 9 and verse 3. Every moving thing that liveth shall be meat for you, even as a green herb have I given you all things. But flesh with the life thereof, which is the blood thereof, shall ye not eat. So what, your telecommunication to eat blood also, Gino? All right? Would, would you let them to eat um, pudding and these kind of things? Would you let them eat blood? It says, And surely your blood of your lives will I require at the hand of every beast will I require it, and at the hand of man, at the hand of every man's brother, will I require the um the life of man. Right? So yeah, the Lord sanctioned basically the eating of meat at that point in time. But um as we read earlier in um let me read it again, Leviticus 10. 10 it says, and that he may put difference between holy and unholy, and between unclean and clean. All right. So, um, before we finish, we'll go to the scripture now. Tracy, I'm going to put one in. All right, go ahead. 
也是 Jove chapter fourteen。In Job chapter fourteen and verse four, right. it says, "Who can bring a clean thing out of an unclean? Can. Not one. Not one. Right. So the Lord sanctioned the swine, right? In Leviticus eleven, and we are going to do twenty fourteen, right? As unclean, right? This is do twenty twenty three, verse twelve to fourteen." So you see the scripture say line upon line, precept upon precept. Alright? Um 23 verse. Um what's it 12 to right. Right, so it says um thou shalt have a place also without the camp whether thou shalt go forth abroad. And thou shalt have a paddle upon thy weapon, right? And it shall be when thou will ease thyself, meaning what you're going and take a, 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 a um, you're going and defecate, right? Or ship, right? When thou will ease thyself abroad, thou shalt take therewith and shall turn back and cover that which cometh from thee. For Yahweh thy power walketh in the midst of thy camp to deliver thee, right? And we'll be looking for Gino Jenny, not deliverance. From the hands of your enemies or from Satan, as always, or from the devil, right? But the devil teaching all the doctrine. And to give up thine enemies before thee. Therefore shall thy camp be holy, that he see no unclean thing in thee, and turn away from thee. So if you eat pork, basically you become unclean, and the Lord going and what? Turn away from you. Thou shalt not deliver, um, right? You define in your temple. And we got at um good Corinthians six. Three and sixteen. Can if anybody define the temple, you know, we'll come into the show yeah. it. You understand? Know, and um this is Isaiah 52 11. Let me say a piece of there. Come. Come. Um this is Isaiah 52 and verse 11. Real quick. It says Isaiah 52 verse 11. It says, The party, the party, go ye all from thence, touch not. And um, touch no unclean thing. You hear that? Touch no unclean thing. Go eat out of the midst of her. Be ye clean that bear the vessels of Yahweh. And who is the vessels of Yahweh? So wait now. If you did if if you could eat pork, that means you could have sex with your woman and she on she's on she period. Because all of them unclean. Can. Can can. Napa points. It's so much of a different from the clean, the holy. And the profane. Um, what is it? Um, 24. Um, 22 to 24. Okay. This is Ezekiel chapter 44 and verse 22. It says, Neither shall they take wife for wives, for their wives, a widow, nor her that is put away, but they shall take maidens of the seed of the house of Israel. Or widow that had a priest before. Hey, and if I may just say this really quick, you see the thing about it. We don't do the same for money. Right? We don't do the same for financial gain. So we don't have to make up our doctrine to go to please people's ears to, to fill our pockets. Right? right? We do this in for what? The glory of the Abba Shem Yahweh Shai. So right. of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Alright? But verse 23 says, and they shall teach my people the difference between the holy and profane, mm -hmm. and cause them to discern between the unclean and the unclean. Clean and the unclean. Right? I just read it. Right? Verse twenty-three. Right. What is verse twenty-four? Verse twenty-four. And in controversy, they shall stand in judgment, and they shall judge in according to my judgment, mm -hmm. and they shall keep my law and my statutes. In all my assemblies, and they shall hallow my Sabbath. Right, so as the brother Kwam was actually stating also in the assembly, so Passover is assembly. Now, as the brother say, if you do fat, if you get a lamb, you could use a goat. You can't bring a pork to the Lord table. <laughs> <laughs> Holy and profane. <laughs> that was our separation. Hey, and just to, just to show you. Because mm -hmm. hey, um, he saw too. You know, sometimes we can't really blame on Esau too. When the scripture say what was the abomination and desolation 
when Antiochus and them offered pork on top of the um, on top of the altar. altar. You understand? Because exactly, because they know that was something unholy. Can. That was profane, unlawful to the nation as well. Just like just like when um we most like the Peter the dream. He wanted to show because they had they had actually the the um they had the Gentiles, which was the Israelite foreigners yeah, as um clean because it was eating certain things and doing certain unclean clean things. things. They was doing some abominable things. Yeah. So the most I also bring Peter in, into that in that particular way, things that is unclean. Can. It wasn't for Peter to go and eat it. Because the scripture say um to be to be um the Romans um no, it's scripture with that. Um, Isaiah chapter five, I think it was twenty. It said they, they call good evil and evil, and evil good. They, they gave you bitter for they call sweet. it sweet, bitter for sweet and sweet for bitter. God. It says um Romans six verse one. What shall we say then? Shall we continue in sin that grace may abound? Because the pork is a sin, right? Um, it says God forbid. How shall we that are dead to sin live um any longer therein? Right? Um, it was said we established the law. Can because what Paul was saying. Yeah, and Paul, and Paul, I, teach, I, I forget which which um, um the, the I'm trying to get right now. Okay. What Paul was saying, they can't really force okay. certain things on somebody who now come and eat the the, the the um the the, the the fool. So you know you'll get them in step by step. It has certain things, certain right. things you got you have to be like going certain things as they go along. Yeah. It have people who actually um eating probably eating pork might who knows if they don't know that you yeah, understand? Because a point they bring it are people they're smoking for all life. But then the doctor might say if you continue smoking you'll die. But here what they just can't stop smoking just so Gradually, they have to, you know, probably pull one a day or two a day because something that you was looking up yesterday when we had the situation, they say if somebody was addicted to something and they just stop immediately, they could just do so. Mm -hmm. They're just so. So that is the same thing you know, we're showing and people think gradually they just change off, you know, the sins. Yeah, you can't get them that you know, big, that big burden to cry one chop. time. You know, you, you gradually show them, you know, these things is things that they are already let go, you know, mm -hmm. right? as, as they go along. Mm -hmm. Separate the name away from, from the profane. Mm -hmm. um, let me see, so, what about, right? Um, so, going to Deuteronomy 14, was, well, yeah, going to Deuteronomy 14. Deuteronomy chapter 14 and verse 1. It says, Ye are the children of, of Yahweh, your power. Ye shall not cut yourselves, nor make any boldness between your eyes for the dead. Right, so you are the children of Mosai, and that, that, that's supposed to make you feel very good, very important. And the Lord giving you here now a criteria to keep as his children. Right, go ahead. For thou art an holy people unto Yahweh thy power, and Yahweh had chosen thee to be a peculiar people unto himself above all the nations that, that are upon the earth. Thou shalt not eat any abominable thing. They are the beasts, these are the beasts which ye shall eat, the ox, Beef, well. the sheep, well. the goat, mm -hmm. the hart, and the roebuck, mm -hmm. the roebuck and the fallow. The deer, the wild goat, the, the tiger, and the wild ox, the chamus, every beast which parted the hoof and cleaved the cleft mm -hmm. into the into the claws, and chewed the cud among the beasts that ye shall eat. Okay. Nevertheless, these ye shall not eat, for them that are ah, for them that chew the cud, or them that Divided the cloth, the cloth, hoof, the cloven hoof, as the camel mm -hmm. and the hair and the cord, the cord knee. Yeah, so it's not supposed to be camel or anything that's related to the rabbit, which is basically related to wood and square. For they chew the cud, but divided not the hoof. Mm -hmm. Therefore, they are unclean unto you. Mm -hmm. The swine, because it divided the hoof, yet chew it not the cud. It is unclean unto you, 
ye shall not eat of their flesh nor touch their dead carcasses. Yeah, mm -hmm. and when you're looking this on the one Bible dictionary, they are not even to say about the pig. Right? Even the one who you people even now call Jesus Christ. Uh, but he said um as the um spirit of the pig. Can and also he say um do cast your pulls on the swine. Sense. Right? Um the scripture say in Proverbs and, and check out this. In the in the in the, the scripture every night comes in Noah. The most I make it enough, he give it enough clean animals to eat. Yeah. He make them in the in the coming in the seven. <laughs> the unclean ones come in in, 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 in twos. You have an excuse. You didn't have an excuse. Yeah. It had real clean meat to eat. You understand? Um, didn't show that. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know if you joke with me. Proverbs 11, 22. As a jewel of gold in a swine's snout, so is a fair woman which is without discretion. You understand? A woman without discretion. A woman who is not discreet in doing anything as she you understand? So, to show you a good thing or a bad thing, a, a swine is a, something evil. Alright? So, um, the scripture also say, in verse 9, These ye shall eat of all that are in the waters, all that have fins and scales shall ye eat. And whatsoever hath not fins and scales ye may not eat, it is unclean unto you. So, you're not supposed to eat crab, lobster, shrimp, right? Shark, catfish, right? It have variants of an, um, species of of things that live underneath the water, you're going to eat to a blasted jellyfish, or you're going to cook that, right? It says, um, well, we stop there, right? Um, see the first screen, just eat that one second, but the shot. It says, um, and I that that eating on clean thing is being ridiculous too, you know. Mm -hmm. Look at the diet and creatures on the hook. We 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 tie up something that choke it on your throat for. Yeah. If you tie it up, it, it go open up and kill you. What? How that a meal? Yeah. How that turn? Is that some the, squids uh, chop it? It's squids and some small octopus that is used. It turns supposed to be so difficult. Then let's put it on one of them skewers like and thing on the tentacles. You see that squids or, or a small breeder octopus and you have to go down. But if you ain't and take the sucker, you just have a what we call it in sucker, you hold on to your chew that you go down. Yeah. And you go down, you just have a kind of crow in it now. With the crab, the crab keep cutting up the roof of them out. God. And then the thing is, you know, um, and that little piece of meat so you get in it. And then here, yeah. why feel us go on with them too? Yeah, like Remember, octopus just leg what kind of ink? So yeah. when they get frightened, so imagine what they're doing to you down there. When um, they get frightened in your stomach. I watched something concerning 15 different foods, that is, um, exotic foods, and one of, the, one of the foods that I eat, they say 15% of the people who eat that go down there. <laughs> you don't eat to live? <laughs> Listen, you saw it like. And it Eight and one. First grade, eight and one. It says now, as touching things offered unto idols, we know that we, we know that we all have knowledge. Knowledge put profit up, but charity edified. Yeah, knowledge profit up, but charity edified. So. Whatever knowledge you know, Jennings and them three they have because he quick on the job, he um, edified, he, um, he puffed up. Alright, go ahead. It says, Knowledge puffed up, but shall he edified. And if any man think that he knoweth anything, he knoweth nothing, yet as he ought to know. But if any man love you, have a the same is known. Of him, can understand. So yeah, puffed up, right? He do all that charity because he would have really seek the truth. He would have go to to the Hebrews, right, and learn. You understand? So Deuteronomy twelve thirty two, it says, "What things soever I command you, observe to do it. Thou shalt not add thereto, nor diminish from it." And I, that ain't what the apostle Paul did. He didn't add to, or he just taught it in a way. You know, you can understand. understand. You can finish the first Timothy for um, 
shoot the fight. And so we have to observe the things to do. And if anything, some contrary to some doctrine, right? We go into the precepts. So we could see where the Muslim guy was digging the mm -hmm. horrors, mm -hmm. all right? But at the end of the day, as we say, he, he is the spirit of understanding. The scripture says wisdom is the principal thing, but we all are getting it understanding. And Islam do have that, Christianity do have that, right? So you just finish off the first. Right, first Timothy 4 and verse 3 says, Forbidding to marry and commanding to abstain from meat, which Yahweh had created to be received with thanksgiving of them which believe and know the truth. Forever. And know the truth, which is the law. We know the law. So the law said we're not supposed to eat pig and certain things according to the diet. So we know the law. We're not going and we're not going and eat those things. And the law didn't it didn't start that way, Lord didn't make it unclear or, or confused. It, come on. As even the apostle Paul say, um this is Galatians real quick. Um Galatians one and verse six. I marvel that he has so soon removed from him that called you into the grace of Mashiach unto another gospel, which is not another, but there be some that trouble you and will pervert the gospel of Mashiach and say that if it be poor, it's perverting the gospel. So the Bible also Paul know what he is saying, right? Well, I just said, um, for every creature of God is good and nothing to be refused if it be received with thanksgiving, for it is sanctified by the word of God and pray. And every creature, when you talk about every creature, talking about the clean beasts, right? Because long ago, as we say, we would have vegans or vegetarians that will try to make somebody feel bad because they, they eat ants. Even until today, some Christians or some, it's a Hebrew Israelite group, I can't remember if it's in Africa or that section of the somewhere, the self somewhere in Israel, they only eat vegetables and they hold it, say, like eating meat and bad. So, if you eat me, they make you feel, you know, the scripture talk about in the same first Corinthians 8. If eating meat offend offend a brother, you know, but like the scripture say, um, it is not the fullness thereof. But you're talking about with the idols. You can eat. Right? Bless and he talk about things that was sacrificed on idols. Somebody beneath it off his eat and ask not for conscious here. Bless it and eat it. Because what still they might try to win that soul, the scripture say. Until a Jew, I become a Jew. Yeah. Until, yeah. until I mean, you came all things and things like that. And as the brother brought up the precept in, in Mark, he said, Go preach the gospel to every living preacher. You will not see me what? Open a Bible and go and preach to a Santa P or like a, a snake? Like an idiot. Come now, man. It's, it's the cement, it's understanding that we scripture see. With all the creatures that the Apostle Paul was talking about is only clean. Because who he was speaking to? He was speaking to the Israelites so they would understand what he was talking about. When creature come from the good create. Come. Man was created. Everything was created. And they would say, I am the creator of Israel. Yeah. The, the husband is thy maker. And he was even considered in the rest of the nations. Because really and truly, right, as we know, for those who are the knowledge, um, Yahweh, he created Yahushai, the world. The world created the elect. The elect created the other angels and everything else. The Lord will even really consider these other nations. You understand? Mm -hmm. Through the Spirit, yes, He created them, but He don't even consider them children. Same out of all the families that He you only know the children in Israel. So we know who salvation for. We know what we are about. We, as we were talking about yesterday, being fully persuaded in your mind. Mm. You understand? Anybody have anything else to think about? Mm. I want you to hear this is um, Proverbs chapter 23. Um, Outside of verse 2, it says, And put a knife to thy throat, if thou be a man given to appetite. Mm. Be not desirous of his dainties, for they are deceitful meats. Deceitful meats. So you give them appetite. Uh, somebody offers uh, you know, you're hungry. So you go eat pork. So you go eat pork. Mm. Um, just like done by the brother, um, Kuba fish, and the mope in a panel curry. What? Curry smell good. And the social man, you're summer. Is that? 
to to a sinner like keep that and uh what's wrong with you? So but keep that there, but so I don't think I say according to the scriptures, I think it's in me so the daughter tell them, nah, then don't eat that, you know. Then don't eat that with them if you choose to do that, then you can eat that then, you can eat that then, you can eat that to lose my salvation for a piece of meat. When I could barbecue a piece of lamb or body cases, you understand? Well, if you call over here, yeah. this is Proverbs 15 yeah. and 17. Yeah. It says, Better is a dinner of herbs, mm -hmm. where love is, than a stone ox with hatred therewith. Mm -hmm. Don't be good into meat. You sacrifice yourself for the cases and everything. And you can do things. And you know, Genesis, you know, we'll sing. Right, but uh, hey, with that, we hope it edifies you as you for the lick. If you know, this is an angle into the power of Hashem Yahushai, Hashem Kakwadash. The Buddha was so well as the apostles of Buddha, so I shall do well. Citation teacher, and when I knock him, the precious gospel of being sincere to the truth, right? To the sincere accord that is in science, we say shallow one.